to one of the last recordings of week six here. I'm just going to cover the week six lab. So in your week six folder of weekly learning on Blackboard, you can click this link here that will take you in a new tab to the lab, or you can click the assignments and test section on the left pane and then go into the labs folder and find the week six lab right here, reading and writing to a file with formatting. Okay, so we can look at the exercise three PDF and then the products.txt is a file that comes with it that you're going to use with the exercise three. So if we zoom in here, it may look like a lot at first that's going on, but it's not too bad. It's very similar to what we covered in class today. We're going to create a program that reads data from an unformatted tab delimited file, performs some calculations, and then writes the results to a different file. Okay, so you're going to be reading from one and then outputting to another. It's going to format it and then make it really pretty on the output file. Okay, so the file that you're going to start with is going to look something like this. So you have all these different types of guitars. So we've got a Strat, we've got a Les Paul, uh, an FG700. We've got a price, and then we've got a, a discount percentage rate, okay? So the console should look something like this. There won't be too much going on from the console side, but when you open the files, uh, you'll be able to see that stuff did happen in the background. So it'll say product list, reading product data from the products.txt file, which is what I just opened here. And then it's going to output, which I'm not giving you this file, you're gonna create it when you output the formatted data to the product underscore lists.txt file. And that's gonna just exit the program, okay? So the program will start, or the txt file starts like this. And you'll notice it looks a little bit messy on mine because the tabs aren't there. Um, if I tab some of these in, I think, there we go. It should look something like that, like a little bit, uh, I'll zoom in, delimited by tabs, okay? Now, obviously, WordPad is not the best to view these, but they are delimited by a tab character. You'll notice I actually had to do two tabs to delimit these so that it looked good to the human eye, but the computer will just be able to delimit by the tab character, which will just be one tab in this case. So here there's two tabs as well, but you only need to have one tab. So you don't need to actually edit your product.txt file. You don't need to touch it. So it will look something like this to the computer. Everything's delimited by tabs. Um, and then you've got three columns. You've got the code for the product, the price, and then the discount percentage. Okay. And then what you want your product list file to look like after you've finished with it is you're going to add a couple more columns. So you're going to make discount percent formatted to actually show as a percentage, not just a 0.3. So remember we use the set precision and the fixed and, uh, we can set that to look like an actual percentage and you can even add a percent sign if you want. The price will be formatted to have two decimal places. So see here, there's no, some of them don't have any forced decimal places, but here 1199.00 is actually forced. So remember we use uh, uh, the set precision and then we also use fixed to force trailing zeros um, and show point as well. Um, then you're also going to have discount amount, which will be a mathematical uh, formula that you'll have to do where you actually times the price by the discount amount and then print that here all aligned, right? They all are right aligned and they're all been set width or tabbed apart. Okay. And the menu items align with the menu context or content. And then the price after the discount. So if you obviously take the total 699 and minus 209, you get 489.65. Okay, so pretty easy math. You just do, you know, A minus B and you get C. All right, so I've provided you with that tab delimited file. And then basically it'll read the data from the product's text file, calculate the discount amount and the list price, and then write it to a text file named product underscore list. This data should be formatted and aligned using the spaces shown as above. So it should look like this when you're done with it. Okay. I don't think anyone's using Xcode. There is uh, different things to do for Xcode when you're doing file directories, but uh, you can just ignore that if you're on Windows. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me or uh, ask right now in class and uh, I'll just end the recording here. But uh, this is going to be due. You can submit it here at the submission portal on Blackboard. It'll be due. It's 10 points. Uh, it's due October 18th. Okay. So next Monday at 1159, you have just under one week to do this. 
Um, and then, uh, you know, I would suggest to finish it sooner rather than later, but this is good study for inputs and outputs to files and string streams uh, or formatting streams uh, before the midterm next week. Okay, so I'll end the recording here. If you have questions, I'll cover them uh, just after this.